Our carbon capture technologies are meant for the modularization and standardization. And what we want to achieve is that our companies allow a technology that it is cost efficient, that also fits for the purpose, and that creates a circular economy for the heavy industry. What we have identified is that the heavy industry is looking to motivate products and uh, circular economies in the supply chain. And there is where we see that our technology is capable to deliver this in the, in, uh, for the heavy industry, and especially the ones that are hard to abate, uh, like the cement industry, like the oil and gas, and power generation. The Middle East plays a very interesting role for the world. It's one of the most important regions in the energy supply chain. And we believe that the Middle East is also one of the, uh, the regions that are upfront in terms of innovation, of sustainability, and the vision by 2050 to become net zero. Therefore, what we see is that the Middle East is very keen to promote technologies that are in the next generation. They want to support innovation, and that's where we see that Middle East has a valid ad added value to this, to this sector. So my name is uh, Dr. Shiraz Nasser. I'm CEO and co-founder of uh, Corrosion Radar. We are a company uh, based in the UK and we provide a unique solution to uh, prevent and predict corrosion. Corrosion is a bigger failure mechanism in the world. It costs the world more than 2.5 trillion pounds a year and um, solving it in a right way is very critical for the efficiency uh, and uh, of an excellence of the operation. Our solution is dealing with a specific type of corrosion called corrosion under insulation. And uh, what we are doing is moving the industry from um, reactive maintenance of the corrosion to predictive maintenance. So it's a permanently installed solution that is installed on pipelines or, or vessels or, or tanks, any, any type of assets. It's permanently installed and feeding real-time data on corrosion. So that gives the time to the um, assets owner and the managers to take the right decision at the right time, saving costs and also increasing safety. The Middle East is a big market for us, uh, for all the obvious reasons. Uh, so Middle East, um, not only today, but also Middle East tomorrow. We, our solution is providing solution for the energy of today. So we are talking about the oil and gas in it, all its forms, but also corrosion will stay with us in, uh, for the energy transition. And we, to make sure that we are achieving our net zero targets, and I know this region has a really ambitious um, objectives for that. So to achieve that, we certainly need to solve these uh, bigger failure mechanism, which is corrosion. So our solution is also a big enabler for that energy transition in the, in the region as well. So my name is Lee Billingham. I look after business development at Mirico. Uh, Mirico specializes in measuring greenhouse gas emissions over large areas for long durations. It's ideal for um, companies that are looking to reduce emissions to uh, reduce the impact on climate, but also protect value by maintaining the product in their systems. The market in the Middle East is exciting for us. We think it's the ideal area in which we can apply the technology with large uh, facilities producing a lot of gas that needs to be looked after to preserve its value, but also to minimize the emissions and the impact on the climate. So working with Canoe is, is great for us because they understand the local region. Um, we are a UK-based company, so having their expertise to help us is, is fantastic. My name is Priyesh Mehta. I'm the director at Imaginarium. Imaginarium is India's largest additive manufacturing and 3D printing company. We are here with Kanu, Kanu Energy, to help clients in the GCC region implement, adopt and scale up the use of 3D printing in their manufacturing and supply chain operations. What we do is we work with oil and gas and energy clients to help them identify which parts are good candidates for 3D printing, also help them manufacture or all, uh, uh, and redesign uh, for, for optimization of their existing designs and we give them an end-to-end -end solution by also providing quality inspection and certification services. What we've seen is from the last year, the ADIPAC event for this year has evolved drastically. The questions last year for us were, what is this technology? And the questions for us this year is how we can use this technology for us, for in, in production or supply chain improvements.